Welcome to Success From Scratch, your place for innovation, creativity, and the blueprint of success from peak performers just like you. Welcome to Success From Scratch, episode number 32, with my special guest, Rachel Hoffman from our Austin, Texas market. Hi. Hey, Rachel, welcome. Thanks. Glad you're here. You're in our Mopac office, I think, this morning. Yes, I am. I did a little Tech Tuesday, and now I'm here to do an interview with you. Yeah, awesome. We love the Tech Tuesdays that are happening uh, in that market each week, and such an amazing market. How is the market before we get into a little bit about yourself? Well, I will say this is one of my busiest months. However, I'm seeing a really nice shift in the market going a little bit more towards the buyer side. So I, it's great. I'm having actually great feelings about getting my buyers good deals. You know, rather than they feel like they're getting something rather than just giving everything. So it's nice. So as the inventory expands a little bit, buyers now have, uh, they can actually get in and not, you know, not have to, you know, compete against 10 other people. That's awesome. Right. Well, of course, there are certain areas where there's still multiple offers and stuff like that. But the days on market are getting a little bit longer and my gut, my people are feeling like they're actually getting something out of the deal. So Good. Well, in my experience, agents, uh, good agents, uh, uh, serve clients, whether they're buying, selling, or investing in real estate and up markets, down markets. And those that, that I've worked with actually thrive in market shifts. So tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, Rachel, before we get into the episode. Tell us a little bit about yourself before real estate and a little bit about your, you know, why? Why real estate? Okay. Well, I moved here from New Orleans in 1991 mm. and finished out my high school career. And, you know, after that, I went to a little college and decided to get into, well, retail was kind of where I was for a while, retail management. And uh, my mom told me one day, you can call me and complain about this boss all you want, or you can work for yourself and call me and complain about yourself. You know? And so I went to real estate school at night and got my license about 16 years ago and absolutely love my job. I love real estate, the freedom, uh, something new all the time, you know, getting to see people, different people and work with them constantly. So not the repetition of your normal corporate kind of job. So right. I really love it. Yeah. Well, so we know freedom isn't free and uh, <laughs> it does require some discipline and procedures. So, you know, tell yeah. us, tell us some of the things you've done. I think you're, you're going to cap this year, which for us is 26 transactions. So that's yeah. a heck of a business. Obviously yeah. you can't do that just willy nilly. So what disciplines do you have in place that allow you to produce 26 transactions a year? So I will tell you that my number one, my number one thing I stick by is to always be prompt and answer your phone every single phone call when you can respond to your text immediately. You know, I'm a multitasker and I can do that. I want every client to feel like they are my only client, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I guess I have the knack where I can serve my clients immediately. I don't, I personally don't like waiting for a response. So I treat my clients the way I want to be treated. And I feel like being prompt is a very good part of what makes me successful and why people choose me. Yeah. So, so you, you have a philosophy, you have an outlook that each client individually feels like they're your only one. Yeah. Yeah. And when you, when you approach it with that outlook, then they feel special and they feel like they're the only one. Right. Yeah, even though you probably have three or four going at, at any one time. I do. And it feels bad because uh, I literally had to tell somebody today that I couldn't help them until tomorrow because today is just jam packed until like eight o'clock tonight. So right. no, no, I totally get it. So I appreciate you carving out a half hour uh, to share your story here. So let's get into it a little bit. How are you organized? Do you, do you use uh, a CRM? Do you have a system? What, what systems do you have in place? So um, I do, the only paid advertising I do is for realtor.com leads and I'm finding that they're amazing. So I have them integrated with my KB core. That CRM is amazing. Right. Um, I never had that at um, the brokerages prior to where I was at before I came here. So it was all in my head. And right. now that I'm using KB core, I'm doing, you know, my lead generation and everything through them. It's making everything so seamless. And I feel like uh, I'm touching base with everybody more and I actually hired an ISO to call some of my leads because Good. I was servicing my clients and you know, so it helped a lot and she got my CRM in immaculate condition. And so now it's so easy to follow up with it. 
Yeah, so you're leveraging your resources. You know, your highest and greatest use is probably not organizing your CRM, but you've hired someone yeah. to get your KV core uh, up, up to speed. And so now it serves you versus, you know, you serving it. Right. It was always such a daunting task at my last brokerage to do this touch base with my clients that it just, I hated it. I didn't want to do it. I wanted to talk to the people that are in my store that are looking now. Um, so following up was kind of a pain in the butt to me. And now with KV Core, it's making it seamless, very, very easy. So, And as we know, it's a high touch business. Yes. Some, some of us in the audience here have a, a system where we do 8, 8, 33, and 12, which is a a very well-known system from the Millionaire Real Estate book, or whatever system you have in place, you have to have high touch, right? Yes, yes. I created my own drip campaign that I, you know, I've noticed over the years which ones actually get me responses from people who I've never spoken to. So that's yeah. really helping as well. Yeah, good. What about your daily habits, your personal routines, um, you know, that get you either motivated, inspired, or in some type of positive action? So um, I like to look at what's new on the market every day. I look at the hot sheets and it makes me think of clients um, and how I can best serve them or, uh, you know, oh, maybe this one will work for that guy. And it, it makes me want to reach out to all my clients every time I see what's happening new on the market. So that gets me motivated to actually reach out and do real estate every morning. So it's almost like reading the newspaper for most people. I read the hot sheets. <laughs> you read the hot sheets each day. That's awesome. Yes. Cool. <laughs> well, good. Well, good, good, good. So what's the goal next year? What are you going to do next year? Are you going to spend more time with family, more time in business? Are you going to try and balance those? What's, what's the goal? Well, I feel like when I first started in real estate, all I did was work. And it paid off because, you know, a lot of my business is referrals and word of mouth. So that's, that's great. Um, I've always been able to balance my work with my, my fun. Um, I never wanted to be the person that um, was too old to enjoy my success. So right. I do a lot of traveling, um, but I do... Well, as most of y'all may or may not know, I've become a mentor um, here at JPAR, and I'm, I would like to build that base and have a lot more mentees so I could work with them and share my knowledge because the experience of 16 years, I need to be able to share it. Anybody can call me and I give them free advice. So either way, I think that I'd love to make that a bigger part of my business next yeah, year. Well, it's, it's amazing because I just did an episode uh, right before your episode where we interviewed two of our agents who went through the mentor program mm -hmm. and talked about how important the mentor program was to them, how it helped them move past fear to action yeah. and actually help them get into production uh, much faster. And this was before we introduced the uh, real estate playbook, which we now have, which will even provide more consistency and get people into action uh, quicker. Uh, well, along with your mentor. I feel like, man, if I only knew what I know now back then. So, you know, instead of having all these new people um, have to trip over the hurdles that I had to go through, I'd love to make it so much easier so they love their job the way I do. So that's, it's a great business to be in and I'd love to help and teach and share all my experiences. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, well with that, we need to wrap up. Any last okay. words of wisdom uh, that you'd like to share with the uh, audience about being a capper? Your well, here and, and it's pretty successful. Market to your sphere. Do not let that slip through your fingers. That is where a lot of your business is going to come for years to come. It's going to come from them. Word of mouth, referrals, you've got to do it. Team up with your vendors, like your lender or your title rep, and have them help you and pay for some of this so that you can get a good system in place to market to your sphere. I think that's a really good place to go. So There, there you go. You have to have a system to market to your sphere. Yeah. And with that, we'll see you on another episode of Success from Scratch real soon.